Oh yes. So yeah, here I am. I've got a new lens here. This is Soti, Soti? Soti lens. This is Sony 20 millimeter f1.8. Brand new. Oh yes, look at that. Check this out. It's got an aperture, aperture ring, which you can de-click. Click, it's ALF. Smooth for video recording. And then you've got a button there which can be customised, an AF-MF button, and that's all you need to know. Thank you for watching, subscribe. No, uh, it's got two XD linear motor within, whatever that is, for smooth and fast, precise focusing. You've got two spherical elements, three ED elements. It's super wide, super fast, it's lightweight. It's got a nice balance to it, which I like. At 373 grams, it keeps the camera lens set up nicely balanced with the weight towards your hands. Nice to have a fastish wide that's not big and clunky, but that also means plastic has been used on some bits where some might not desire, like the filter thread. And look, the focusing is really close. Just let's 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 get up really let's see how f close I can get up to that. I'm practically in your face. I'm on your face. I'm in your head right now. That's how close I am. It's gonna be good for landscapes because of the wide focal length, but also city stuff, architecture. You get everything in. So that's what I'm doing here. All right, not much architecture going on here, although technically they are working on some here. But anyway, just wanted some lines to check distortion and it looks pretty good. Although the distortion that you do get is complex, a mix of barrel and pincushion. And while we're getting geeky, the vignetting where the lens compensation is quite noticeable wide open, although gradually disappears as you stop down, obviously. Oh, what a display. Gotta love Selfridges displays. It's a contrasty lens and details look sharp. I love using wide angles in tight city spaces to shoot street scenes. As long as the distortion is low and the lens isn't a wang of a lens, it means you can stand closer, closer than this, right in there so you don't get anyone coming into your foreground so you can isolate your subject or some bollocks like that. The lens though, I like, but we can't just ignore the competition. Friendly competition that is. The Zeiss is nice, 18mm f2.8, which comes in at around 300 euros more than 1100 euros Sony. And saving money is nice too, but what's the difference, other than the focal length obviously. In the centre, the Zeiss is good, the Sony is really good. The Sony being sharper at f1.8 and 2.8 compared to the Zeiss at f2.8. The Sony wide open and in the corners isn't as sharp as the Zeiss wide open, but f2.8 versus f2.8, the Sony seems to have the edge. A huge soft box for video. We could just, you know, forget studios, just hang outside Selfridges. Oh. Yeah, I mean, with, with a wide like this, you want it to have not too many distorted lines, especially with Prime. With a zoom, you know, you kind of expect it to get a bit wonky. This would be great to get some kind of photo here because of the light. It's amazing. Just got to find something to take photos of. On crop, it'd be 30 millimeters, so you know, not so wide. I just take pictures of anything random. If you could just stand in the middle here. Yes. It's always useful to have that extra speed for low light shooting, giving this another advantage over the Zeiss, even if that f-stop isn't so much about the borker. That's, that's, that's at f1.8. I mean, you're not really gonna get much in terms of shallow depth of field. Although if you get up really close, you will do. What's the bokeh like? Let's have a look. Let's get some, let's get some bokeh balls in the background. The balls are good. I'm liking the balls. Yes, if you get up close enough, you'll probably enjoy the balls. A very faint, hard edge here and there, but mostly bokeh-lish, creamy. Probably not good to shout, I like balls. Yeah, in the middle of Oxford, Oxford Street. I like the balls. The balls are round and smooth. Scrumptious. That opens up some creative possibilities when you can get that close and that wide. It's not macro close. 
but it's still close enough to smell whatever it is you're taking photos of. <laughs> this doesn't go quite as wide as the Zeiss, but it has the extra speed. The performance is really quite good and I love the ergonomic size and feel of it, making this a great little lens for stills and video, even if I don't love so much the plastic filter thread. If you don't need the extra 2mm wideness, you can use this lens without feeling like you're compromising on anything. Some, it's like those um, things for the Wing Chun, those Wing Chun things, really camp ones. You know, us, us street photographers, we're probably a hardcore bunch. So I shop at MS, having a nice bit of pastry here. Thanks for. Oh, what's going on? Get out! <laughs> 